Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. Long time. No, see, it's been such a long time, I feel like, since I picked up the camera and vlog, but it's been a lot going on, y'all. <laughs> I went into vlog this weekend. Today is Friday, June 3rd, and tomorrow I am going to my 10-year high school reunion which i'm looking forward to but i wanted to bring y'all along and show y'all like me getting for prepared for it and things like that today i actually have quite a bit planned i'm currently in the office right now as you can see i'm working but i just finished like doing my morning routine and um like my usual morning tasks i am really excited though i was like you know what it's been a while since i picked up the camera and vlog so here we are I decided yesterday I was like I want to vlog I look real crusty <laughs> but it's all good like I'm missing lashes as y'all can see my lash extensions look real crazy probably won't be getting lash extensions again until maybe my birthday and then my hair looks crazy um I'll be getting it done tomorrow you guys will come along with me for that as well we're just stuck in it today being a woman the maintenance is crazy expensive so that's really the reason why I don't have lash extensions right now it's just because your girl is trying to budget and you know we got a lot going on so if I can save money in some way I was like you know what I think I'm going to skip lashes this month and I'll just get them for my birthday next month because I do have something planned for my birthday I decided to not wear any makeup today just because I know tomorrow I'm gonna pack on the you know the makeup so I decided to let my skin breathe a little plus I need to pick up a new foundation today so I may like test it out to see how you know it matches so I decided just to skip makeup but yeah your girl skin and skinning courtesy of skin my moss of course and i would have like this little breakout um as soon as i decide to go somewhere but it's all good i think i'm gonna make a smoothie just because i want to eat a little something um so smoothie it is so let's go make a smoothie real quick detour blue needed to go to the bathroom so i just let her out so we're currently in my laundry room aka my workspace my laundry room is pretty large um it's this area over here and then i have some room over here too so this is where i make all the soaps and things maybe i'll give a tour one day i typically let her outside while i'm down here and i can just look at my camera um, my security cameras and just watch her i'm going to empty the dehumidifier like i said i work in my basement so it gets pretty humid so one of the big purchases I made for my business is a dehumidifier just to make sure it keeps the moisture out of the air, which helps a lot when it comes to making my soaps. As far as like the curing process, you want all the moisture to be out of there. So yeah. Yesterday I made some more of my Satin Sheets Elite Skin Bar and if you know Satin Sheets is probably my best selling um, skin bar. It's luxury for the luxury girls. It's a mixture of like sweet, fresh, and floral. I haven't really shown you guys like the process of making soap but typically um I stick to one way and if you're familiar with cold process soap making like when it comes to the whole step-by-step -step, you melt your butters down and then you melt and then you uh, make your lye water and you wait for them to both come down to room temperature or to a certain temperature and then you mix the two this time I decided to try another method which is called the um, heat transfer method so instead of like melting the butters down separately you would take the really hot lye water which gets up to like 200 degrees and use that to melt your butters and I typically don't do that way so I decided to try that it was a mess I was all over the place I'm a little nervous about how the soap is going to turn out and y'all this is the four batches I made yesterday and when I tell y'all I may have to trash all of this I just might have to trash it all. I won't know for sure until it's actually cut. You guys can't really see it on camera. I don't know why. It looks more yellow on camera but I promise it doesn't look this way. I don't know how to work my camera y'all. This process was crazy. I probably won't do this technique again. It looks fine right now but again I won't know for sure until it's cut. 
it's gonna have to sit in the mold for a few days so i probably won't cut it until like next week i'm gonna be so mad if i have to trash all of this because that's so much money wasted on materials and i don't even know what made me try this technique it was kind of like a spur of the moment type thing i was like you know what let's see if i can do the heat transfer method method i figured like doing that method will save me so much time especially because i plan on scaling my business and producing a lot more products in a quicker time frame but I don't know, I may have to stick to the old way because this was a mess and Blue's at the door, so let me get her. About to make my smoothie now. When it comes to smoothie, I'm very simple. So I have my Nutribullet. This is what I use. I typically get frozen fruit just because it lasts longer. Um, and I don't really drink smoothies every day. But my favorite fruits are blueberry and strawberry. Or my favorite fruits for a smoothie are blueberry and strawberry. But I typically go in with more blueberry because blueberries are literally my favorite. A little strawberry. Like this much, you can see. This is so ghetto, y'all. But I had some fresh bananas, but they were going bad. So before they went bad, I froze them. Or I froze one. So I'm just putting half of a banana in here and then I'll use the other half for another smoothie. And that's like a really good tip. If you have fruit that's about to go bad, um, freeze it. I'm gonna add just a little bit of ice. It's not that much. And to sweeten my smoothies, I do not like using sugar. I use honey. So I kind of eyeball it and do like, I wanna say like a tablespoon of honey. And then orange juice. Some people like milk. I am not a milk drinker, y'all. I really hate milk, so the only time I use milk is if I don't have orange juice, but most of the time, if I don't have orange juice, then I won't drink a smoothie. I put enough to cover, like, everything. I like my smoothies really, really thick. Sometimes what I would do is add some energy powder to this, but I don't have any more, so it's just gonna be this for now. And y'all, because I like my smoothie so thick, like I literally have to stop this like 10 times and shake it in between because it won't move around. Yeah. It's not moving, so. It's just because I don't add a lot of liquid. Some people add a lot of liquid and I don't really like, I like mine thick. Cause I feel like if you make it too fluid, it's just like a drink and I want it to have that smoothie texture. about done i like to put away my stuff while it's blending just you know multitasking and i know some people pour their smoothies into another glass sometimes i do that um but a lot of times i just keep it inside of here and i'll just take one of my little straws and look at that thickness like it's super thick So good. And then I have like this granola. So I just get like a napkin and put a few in the napkin, like a handful. And this is what I'll eat. Back in the office, y'all, I'm so tired. Y'all ever get up and go to work and then be like, I need a nap already. That's how I feel. Besides running errands for tomorrow's event, I do have like some business stuff I need to take care of. I got an order, so I need to pack that up. And y'all, this customer, I'm gonna have to call her. Long story short, last month, she ordered four times, I wanna say four times within weeks. Two of those times was like back to back. And then she just ordered again this week. And it was the same exact product from her last order. She ordered another cocoa bean skin butter. Just to make sure it wasn't like a duplicate order or you know, it wasn't made on accident. I decided to reach out to her and email her just to confirm, like, you know, hey, nothing's wrong. Just want to make sure, like, this order wasn't placed in error because I don't want to ship out something and then, you know, they end up canceling or disputing or whatever the cause may be. So, to prevent those things, I like to reach out the to the customers and get them to send it to me in writing that, you know, it is exactly what they want it they place the order so i don't want no scams okay i don't want no frauds like me and i say i don't want no frauds
So I reached out to confirm to them yesterday and they got back to me and said like, you know, they actually did place the order and they are obsessed with the cocoa bean skin butter. She ordered a four ounce jar so I'm actually going to give her a call because she gave me her number and I'm actually just going to go ahead and upgrade her butter from a four ounce to eight ounce just because like i'm so grateful and literally when people love my stuff that much and go so hard for my company like how can i not and y'all she even went as far as leaving me like a google review so i'm gonna thank her for that as well so if you purchase from skin my Moss, leave us reviews send me emails like i love to hear y'all and i like to feel like i know y'all so you know yeah blue is in here y'all blue blue don't embarrass me i hope she doesn't bark or start going crazy like hearing things i don't know y'all blue hears stuff all the time and she just randomly barks so i pray she doesn't act up while i'm on the phone i could easily put her out but i'm choosing to let her stay oh she just left out on her own okay do your thing then all right so what i just did was created like a little script to go over um while I'm on the phone which I know sounds like a bit like girl you're doing too much just call them but like I'm so that person like I have to plan out every single thing and it's more so like say for instance she doesn't pick up the phone it's like okay I'm not stunned and I don't know just what to say I can just leave her voicemail but if she does pick up the phone I know the conversation may not flow exactly how, about how I've written it but it'll pretty much like outline what I need to say I'm Jaleesha, the creative director behind Skin My Moss. <laughs> I was just reaching out because I wanted to personally say thank you so much for supporting our brand. <laughs> oh my gosh, you gotta know. I felt like gay though, I swear. <laughs> I was like so addicted. I'm like, they don't think I'm nuts, but I keep using up the body butter, skin glow, I have the cucumbers, I have it all. I'm, a, I'm an addict, I'm an addict. I will admit it, I'm a pure addict. So I'm like telling everyone, I'm like, you gotta get this. Like, I love this. I'm like, I can't get enough of it. Oh my God, the cocoa bean. I hope you become a billionaire. I really do. And I, I suspect you could. <laughs> she literally just made my day. Uh, I'm not gonna cry. I could have cried. Y'all, she literally just made my entire day. <sighs> Y'all, like, my emotions right now are so crazy because it's like, at times, like, when you want to give up and you really feel like, oh my gosh, like, is it? am I doing like what am I doing like times when you're only getting one order a week times when you're you launch a product and it's not successful like this is what makes it all worth it like I am so freaking grateful for this like are you kidding me and to hear her say how much she loves my stuff and like this is all she uses now like y'all heard her like what I don't think y'all understand. <sighs> like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to this whole entrepreneurship stuff. I literally just go with it. Um, I'm just taking it day by day, moment by moment. I'm just rolling with it. As things happen, I'm learning. So for me to like be someone who's learning as they go and to hear people actually tell me how much they love something like really means the freaking world to me like I cannot express that enough and it just makes me feel like all right like you you kind of know what you're doing right <laughs> when it comes to running a business you know a little something but sometimes it's like I don't want to speak for all entrepreneurs or all small business owners but sometimes you feel like you really don't know what you're doing like sometimes you feel like what what am I doing you know what I mean I don't want to say imposter syndrome because I really don't like the whole term imposter syndrome but it just I don't I don't know y'all she just made my day and it just made me feel yeah on another note I now need to move into some more admin stuff so I've been actually working on creating like documents and 
contracts and things like that for possible and potential brand ambassadors and influencers that's something that i've been always wanted to tap into but to be honest it really intimidates me a bit reaching out to people in general just y'all saw i get nervous but i think that is one of the main things that i need to tap into in order to grow the brand i would like to get other eyes on my business and we just launched our tote bag so we just launched merch by moss and the first product for our merch line is our fyp tote bag not pyt um fyp is <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory this bag is our way of stepping into a more eco-friendly and sustainable living i can tell y'all right now i'm not 100 percent sustainable or eco-friendly environments is friendly or anything like that there's hella plastic in this room but i do take steps and i am a little cautious when it comes to certain things so i do pay attention to the things that i purchase i do try my best to recycle and reuse things when and if possible but i'm not 100 that girl but we're on our way to being that girl and as long as you're taking the right steps and the necessary steps to do better that's all that matters and that's just the general rule of thumb when it comes to life so our fyp tote bag is a step in the right direction when it comes to sustainability i have have one here mine is a little beat up and raggedy just because i've literally had this for over six months and i've it's been it's been done done y'all but as you can see it's pretty hefty it looks a little beat up but it's still in good tech still condition still in good condition i still carry all my belongings in it and it retails for 18 dollars so sustainable eco-friendly and affordable come on and um the big message behind our merch is that with every merch purchase we actually are donating a bar of soap which is our skin bars to a person in need when it came to launching my merch i didn't want it to just be about oh let's slap a logo on a t-shirt and sell it and get some extra money or extra revenue generating funds is all good but there's so much more to it and like we could be doing so much more so instead of just generating revenue i was like you know what how can i make skin my moss and merch by Mala stand out from those other brands so yeah we have our logos yeah we're promoting a brand and lifestyle but at the same time we're also promoting giving back just being better humans so that's what merch by Mala says so so i'm pretty much on a search and looking for influencers to come out with really good content as far as my brand and yeah so if you're interested um in becoming a brand ambassador for skin my moss please definitely send us an email you don't have to have like a huge following or anything the main thing that i look for is really great beautiful content it's neat clean polish and it looks good play this record as frequently as possible <laughs> just finished packing up that order I always do like a little shake test if you can't really hear it moving in the box it's good so this next package isn't even in order it's for someone that I actually have been following on Instagram for quite a while now if you guys aren't familiar with voyage I was actually reached out to by voyage Baltimore which is like a, a virtual magazine where they feature different businesses and entrepreneurs and things so someone from voyage actually reached out to me and it's all thanks to someone I follow on Instagram autumn shout out to you if you're watching I'm not even sure if she watches my vlogs or, or YouTube or anything like that they actually were in contact and she I guess she dropped my name to them they reached out to me and 
uh, we're working on a feature. Maybe by the time you guys see this, it'll be out, I'm not sure. Because she connected us, I just wanted to send like a thank you. It's like she didn't have to mention my name or skin my moss to them, but she did. So I'm gonna work on sending her a thank you package, which is kind of gonna be like my test run for how I wanna do like a PR package or something. So I thought it would be fun to uh play around this way with it so i think i'm gonna send her the chubby collection as well as the fyp tote bag which i think will be perfect i think the brand just fits her perfectly and i think she will really enjoy the tote bag she is a mom autumn is a content creator and she also has her own youtube channel as well so i'll definitely link her information in the description box so you guys can follow her but she can also use a tote bag for, like it could double as like a baby bag so or a diaper bag i don't know so i'm gonna send her a few things but before i pack up her thank you package i'm just going in and updating the inventory for this stuff as well so i'm gonna grab a chubby elite skin bar and then i'm also gonna grab a chubby butter and i'm gonna give her the eight ounce jar it's made with cocoa shea butter frankincense essential oil as well as coffee oil and there's some other bomb ingredients in it as well and then the chubby bar is also made with coffee cocoa and shea butter as well it's pretty much like a coffee collection so i'm not even sure if she's like a coffee drinker or not but i think she would really love it for the ingredients and the skin benefit so i'm gonna grab a little baggie for the bar and just slide that inside of it so i'm pretty much gonna pack it up like i typically would do and then I'm gonna wrap this up, this butter up. But before I do that, grab our tote bag, which looks like this. So I have it rolled up. This is what one that isn't like all beat up like mine looks like. So this is what like a brand new tote bag looks like. I just love this tote bag so much. I designed it personally myself. On one side it says F your plastic in different variations and it has skin my moss on it. And then on the back it says go green. It's pretty large. It can fit a lot of stuff in here. I think I'm going to do another video like a what's in my bag sort of video so you guys can see exactly how much stuff can fit in these totes. It's just giving everything. I love it. I'm just going to retie this tote a little so it's nice and tight i'm gonna wrap the butter in this i don't know what this is called but it's something to help from preventing melting um it's like thermo i guess it's thermo bubble wrap so i'm gonna use this to wrap up the butter and this is just going to be a preventative method just to ensure that the butter doesn't really melt. And boom, this is the chubby butter. So like I said, y'all, this is like practice or test run for PR packages. So I'm actually going to use this box that I got from Uline. And these are the same boxes that I actually used for my Mother's Day collaboration. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, we did like a, a collab. Um, but these are the same boxes that I used for that. I don't know the size of these boxes. It's not one here. But it's probably a little too big for these products. But this is pretty much how I want to package PR boxes. And I know this isn't a PR box for her. It's more like a thank you. But like I said, it's like a test run. I like to practice stuff, so... It was perfect timing and this is going to be perfect practice for when I send out products. I'm going to put some crinkle paper in here. Oh wait, no. I think I'm going to put tissue paper in here first y'all. Like I said, this is the first time I'm doing this so bear with me. And I think, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, so I'm going to just put it in the box. Yeah, I think I'll just put it in the box. Let me get a chair. When I typically pack up orders, I don't just put the tissue paper in the box. I typically make it like real cute and stuff. But I think I want to do a different look for the PR box. So I think I'll just put it in here. And I'm get some crinkle paper. I think I'm going to do packing too much on crinkle paper because I don't want stuff to break like this. And then put crinkle paper on top. And then this is the butter. 
this is the bar. I feel like I should have folded the paper. I'm doing too much, but I'm going to take all this out and fold the paper because I really don't like how this looks. I mean, some people may like that for their stuff, but for me, I don't like that. I just don't like the messy look of it, so we're redoing it. So it already looks 10 times better. It just looks neater. And then uh, the promo card. I'm gonna put that here, like right on top. And then I'm going to seal this up. I think I'm gonna make a Don't Be Ashy sticker real quick. I'm always doing something, y'all. I'm pretty sure I showed a video before on how I make stickers, so I'll link that. But I'm just gonna make a sticker that says like, don't be ashy, just to seal it up. I usually seal it up with my logo stickers, but I feel like this one would be better just saying don't be ashy. The only thing is I have to design it, so I'm gonna design it and then print it. This is spare the moment, but I'm that type of person, I just want it to look pretty perfect so <laughs> I feel like that's the piece that's missing these are the stickers I just came up with which is super cute and I chose this design because I actually just ordered some more sticker or not sticker some more like logo tape and I updated our design for the logo tape we've had this design from the start of skin my moss which was in 2020 so I felt like it was time for a facelift to the tape so um these stickers actually are like what the tape is going to look like i'm really excited about that if you are interested in your own custom tape for whatever purposes you can use my code in the description box and you'll get ten dollars um for tape so make sure you use my code these cards that I purchased from Harris Teeter a while back when I first launched the chubby collection so I'm gonna use a card from here it just says thanks a latte and the inside is blank so I'm gonna write a little note in here to autumn and it comes with these envelopes and they just go like perfectly with my brand so I can put it in there seal it and have it sitting on top like that my handwriting is not the best I'm going to use another one of these stickers to seal up the envelope just because why not. Boom. This is our first PR package. Woo! This is the mess I have to clean up now. It's not too bad. I went ahead and put on some lipstick in my fedora. I got this from Pretty Little Thing, but I just threw in a little lipstick because I'm on my Tracy Ellis Ross, like the no makeup, just lipstick. The lip I'm wearing is from Sephora, number 92. It's like a candy yum yum pink. And y'all, I ended up having to use USBS to make my label for the PR package. I've been shipping with UPS lately for my regular packages but when it came to printing a regular label for this package they were trying to charge $20 with USBS it was only 10 so I was like you know what I'm just gonna have to go to two different places so my regular package I'm gonna have to drop off at UPS and then I'm gonna have to make another stop at USBS for this I don't know if I'm going to be able to do both today but we'll see I'm really excited though the agenda is to go to Sephora this hyaluronic plump moisturizer but it was opened when I bought it so I'm gonna exchange that and get a new one and then I also need to go to MAC and pick out a new foundation or I may find one in Sephora I don't know I'm an OD my favorite foundation is actually MAC Studio Fix Fluid it's an old school foundation but that is the one that works the best for me um, I've tried like the NARS that's actually a foundation I used to use for my clients but it just it doesn't give what it's supposed to give on me so I don't know if I find a new foundation in Sephora I'll use that but I may stop at MAC too and then I also need to go to Zara and find some shoes it's just going to be a day I hope my boyfriend is prepared I'm so hungry go crazy AG So we're back from the store. I have my goodies in here. Y'all, I actually forgot <laughs> to 
take my Sephora stuff back. And I showed y'all. I don't know how I forgot it though. I want to show y'all the stuff that I just got from the mall. I didn't even vlog because, well, one, I feel more comfortable with like someone's holding a camera and, you know, recording me. I didn't really have time to actually vlog. So I guess on a day where I can just take my time, go at my own pace, I'll be able to vlog. But today, like, I needed to do a lot. Like, we needed to go to the post office. I needed to go to the hair store so I can get some hair for my salon appointment tomorrow. It was just very time restricted. So on another day, I'll be able to actually like vlog shopping maybe. But I don't really shop that much especially in stores. The main place I needed to go to was Zara, but I actually stopped at MAC because I needed to get some more foundation like I told y'all. So I did pick up three things. This is the NC50 Studio Fix Fluid, my go-to. I've been using this foundation for years, literally. I didn't get a pump though and I forgot that these foundations don't come with a pump. This is what it looks like if you're familiar with MAC Studio Fix Fluid. This is like my perfect shade. If you have oily skin, MAC Studio Fix Fluid has never done me wrong, so yeah. I also picked up a Ruby Woo lipstick. Ruby Woo is legendary. It's just like a really bomb everyday red. I decided to just grab one while I was there. I think I have one, but I used it for my clients when I used to do makeup and I'm pretty sure it needs to be trash now because it's super old. I don't even own that many lipsticks anymore. So I was like, let me get a real one. And I haven't found like a really good red liquid lipstick. I do use the Sephora collection one, but there's nothing like the legendary Ruby Woo. And then I also decided to pick up a MAC lip pencil. I have never used this particular shade and I do not want y'all to come for me because if you're a black girl, you know Max Chestnut is supposed to be, you know, supposed to be it. I just picked one up for the first time. It's like the go-to nude or brown lip liner for nude lipsticks um, when it comes to women of color. That's what it looks like swatched on my hand. It's like the perfect brown. I couldn't think of the name of this when I was in MAC and I just told the woman at the cashier, I was like, I need a brown lip liner. I was like, what's the brown lip liner? I was like, every black girl has it. And she was like, chestnut. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and then I also went to Zara. Now Zara, Zara. I'm not really the biggest fan of Zara. I know, again, don't come for me. Like, they're cool, but again, I don't really shop that much. Everyone loves Zara, but to me, it's like, okay. Hold on, let me grab some skin butter because I just washed my hands in a dish. My chubby Elite Skin Butter. Let me show y'all what I went in Zara for. So, I needed some shoes to go with my dress for the reunion, and I saw these on Zara's website. These are the shoes. Look at them, they're super cute. And these were $49.50. And they're actually really comfortable. I, I tried them on in the store. And they were pretty cool. And the heel's not super high, but it's high enough. But yeah, I felt like these would go really good with the dress. And when I saw them online, I was like, oh, I need them. And they had them in the store, so I didn't, we, that's really why we went to the mall. Just to get these shoes. This was actually the last thing I picked up when I was in Zara because we walked around the whole store, y'all. We started on the left, we walked in, didn't see the shoes, we walked around the entire store, and then as we were leaving out, there they were. The side where those shoes were, I found this beautiful dress, but it's like this linen dress, and it's just super comfy, it's long, it's maxi, and it has like elbow limb sleeves, and this was six. Hey, this was that much. This was $69. Okay, we didn't even realize that. And it's just something that is like super casual but still cute. They could just throw on and be comfortable. And green is the color, you know. So I also saw this top. And it's just like a really cute short sleeve button up top. That's also really casual and cute. It's giving beach vibes, you know, out on the deck drinking a mimosa. And this was, how much was this? $49.90. And then last I got these jeans. And y'all, the one thing about Zara, their jeans, bomb. If you are a curvy, thick girl, their jeans have such good stretch. I bought a pair last year and those are literally the best jeans ever. They're called the Sailor Flare and this is, the shade is called Capri White. I don't like straight white jeans, like I'm not 
never been that girl to like all white jeans and these were 49 it's 49 I remember it was 49.90 as well and I think this top and these pants and even the shoes might be a cute little uh, you know dressy brunch look and then last the mall that we went to actually had my favorite store y'all is Urban Outfitters I've loved this store since I was a teen Urban Outfitters is just it's just a vibe so this was like a pretty much all impulse size but I picked up these scrunchies I've been wearing scrunchies a lot lately XXL scrunchies if you watch them here on YouTube she does she has like a business Tina's the owner and she makes all handcrafted scrunchies but she's the reason i'm so addicted to scrunchies these of course are not from her but i do own a few of her scrunchies but i saw these colors and i was like this is cute and it was two for 12 bucks so i got these just thought the pattern on this one was really nice and of course green. i also picked up this hair claw i this hair claw y'all this is my first hair claw my grandma used to wear these back in the day i remember her putting them in her hair you know with the little french roll hair claws are back in style and i saw this one and decided to get this one because it's unique um this one was 12 bucks as well but the material it's not like a plastic material it's like it's really heavy it's like a i don't want to say maybe it's metal I don't know but it's really heavy and sturdy and y'all I got 4C hair so I feel like this is gonna be the claw for me when <laughs> in it's gold I absolutely love gold when it comes to accessories so I decided to get her they were having a sale 50% off of their sale price items so this dress was on sale for $60 but I got 50% off of that this is what it looks like it's just really long and flowy but I want to start wearing more dresses hopefully I can fit it though because I didn't try it on so we'll see I also picked up this bra it's this really cute it's like a sheer bra y'all it's green again I feel like green is the color because it's money I feel like the more I dress like money the more money will come to me so I also picked up it's this Mario Badescu drying lotion I love this stuff if you have like a random breakout or anything the stuff works like magic it's literally magic potion in a bottle i also picked up a t-shirt i just saw the color of this and i was like i need it and it's pink floyd and the color it just matched my hat and it made me happy so that's what it looks like but this what maybe some cute little denim shorts would be so cute and some sneakers and that was 40 bucks lastly it was an impulse buy and this was actually the reason why i got everything in urban outfitters because I was literally about to just leave out and then I saw this and I was like, I gotta get it. It's a vase. <laughs> How cute is this vase? But look at that, look at the booty. It's a booty vase. So this is like a cute little flower vase. You can put some flowers in there or a plant. So that's definitely what I'm gonna do. And of course, she's a brown girl like me, so I had to get her. I'm gonna name her, I don't know, what should we name her? She was 24 bucks and I was like, all right, I'm gonna get her. But yeah, that's everything I got from the mall. Again, I don't really shop that often. Most of the time when I shop is for a reason because like I have an event or my birthday. That's literally the only times I tend to buy stuff. I'm gonna show y'all my dress tomorrow. To be honest, I don't even know if I'm actually gonna wear these shoes because I just found out the event is gonna be outdoors. If you know, you know, these type of heels and like grassy areas are not it. They're literally gonna be sinking every time you walk. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wear these shoes. We'll see, I'll figure it out tomorrow, but that's literally everything. I'm so exhausted, I'm so tired, y'all. It was a long day, and tomorrow's gonna be even longer, oh my gosh. Good morning, y'all. Look how crazy I look. I look a high mess. Oh my gosh, I've never looked this crazy on camera. Like, I look bad, but not this bad. I'm on my way to get my hair done. We're running super late. I even forgot to put earrings in. Like, who am I? It's 8.47 right now, and I actually, need to be at the hair salon at nine but usually my hairstylist is like she don't be on time anyway y'all so <laughs> um i think we'll be fine and i'm typically always on time so this is like random i was up at five o'clock this morning do not ask why too early for me to be up on a saturday and so i ended up falling back asleep and that caused me to oversleep and i also need to ask my stylist because the hairstyle that i picked out I'll insert a picture of it, but I don't know if it's gonna go with the look that I'm going for. So I may have to change it. Running late, 
and I hate being late because it messes with my anxiety but we're on the way all right so just got to the salon it's 9 4 now like I said my point was at 9 so I think we're good So hot outside. Let's go. Okay guys, my hair is done. It's like, no, I'm kidding. So last minute I told y'all I wanted to change my hairstyle. So I asked my stylist and I love my hairstylist y'all. She told me like originally I was supposed to get like a bulb, a glue-in bulb. My hair takes a long time to dry, dry so she planned on having me send under the dryer and she was going to run somewhere and I told her I was like I think I really want the, a ponytail instead. So she was like I can just come back so it's 10 30 right now so I'm gonna come back. I'm actually gonna get my toes done while I wait so it was like it worked out perfectly. Shout out to Sydney girl. I look a mess y'all but it's all good because I'm gonna be cute tonight. guys I can't believe I'm out like this looking crazy but I got my nails done too I decided to just get my nails done because I need to kill time because it's 11 41 and I don't have to be back at the salon until 1 so I had to stop and get something to eat because I'm hungry and it is so hot outside so if you can hear the air that's what it is I have 30 minutes to spare and I'm in front of Ulta I don't need nothing out of Ulta but, I might go in here anyway. Ooh, actually, I think there's more concealer while I'm in here. So I'm gonna run in here and see what they got. And hopefully I can vlog in here, y'all. I get like really bad anxiety when it comes to vlogging because it's like people be staring and it's like, dang, y'all act like I never saw my vlog before. But I'm working on just not caring, so let's go. So I usually go between Tan Tan and Deep, but they made a shade in between, so I think I'm gonna try that out. Tan Deep Honey. Oh, they got a mini one. I'll just get the full size. Oh, Jacqueline Hill has a new palette. Wait, this is her line. I've never seen it in person. Wow. Oh, this is actually beautiful. That is gorgeous. Oh, I actually want to try this perfume just for the packaging. It's so cute. So, I'm gonna try this blotting powder, the Invisimet. That way I can take with me since I'm gonna be outside. So, here's sunscreen. I typically use the Black Girl sunscreen. I wanted to see if they have the mist. I think they just released the mist, but they don't have it. So, what's the difference though? Sunscreen gel. Hmm. And then they have the Super Goop one. I think I want to try this one. I just purchased this one from Target, but I can return it and try this one because the spectrum is higher on this. It says make it matte and it might look good under my foundation. And then I'll just use this one for my body. You guys, I'm back from the salon. Look at Y'all see that? I put a scarf on my head just because I had went to Target. I had to get like a strapless bra because the, the dress that I'm wearing is strapless. So I had to run and get a strapless bar, bra. And so when I got home, I had to try it on. So I needed to wrap my hair up before you know, things got crazy. But I'm so tired, y'all. I'm so tired. It is 418. And I'm really debating if I could take like a quick cat nap. Just a little something just to give me ener some energy. The event is from 6 to 10. I don't plan on getting there until like 7-ish. Like 7.15. And actually let me see how long it's going to take me to get there from 
my house. Okay, so the maps is saying it's gonna take me like 25 minutes to get there. So I'm getting like 30 minutes to get there. So I can leave here at like 6.45. So it's 4.19, I think I got enough time to take like a little cat nap or whatever. But before I do that, y'all, this space is a mess. I was, it's just a mess in here. This, this is my dress. You can't really see it yet. It's a lot of tool, it's very big. It has like a little train. The theme was like the I don't know what it is, but it was a polo theme and I didn't know what to wear and this was what came to mind. So I'm probably gonna be overdressed, but it's okay. And I had like jewelry out. I don't know if I'm gonna wear these earrings or not. These earrings don't really go with my hair, but I'm in love with these earrings and they weigh like, I'm gonna say they weigh like two pounds or a pound or half a pound, something, they're heavy. But I was just trying stuff on. I have these shoes from Nicole Lionel. Um, I think I may wear these, but I also have the shoes from Zara. Um, the shoes from Zara, I'm not sure how it's gonna work like in the grass area. The Nicole Lionel ones have more of a chunky heel, so I know like for sure they won't sink into the grass and they'll be a lot more comfortable. If I was going to dinner or something, like going in a place and sitting down, the, sh the Zara shoes may work. But I don't know, I may, I just don't know, y'all. I don't know. This whole thing was pretty last minute. This is actually my 10 year high school reunion, but I actually went to two different high schools. So this high school I did not graduate from, but I went there for three years, so. Um, I still know a lot of the alumni and I, I had a pop-up shop with the alumni so I'm sort of like alumni but not really. I wasn't even going to go at first but when I attended the pop-up that my alumni class threw they kept asking me like are you gonna go are you gonna go and I was like I don't even know if I'm invited because technically I didn't graduate from there. She doesn't even go here. So I ended up buying a ticket and here we are today. That's the dress I'm wearing. I'm probably gonna be like so overdressed. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about that, but it's whatever. Like I don't ever really go anywhere. So I feel like, you know, if it's an event, show up, show out, you know, get dressed up. Especially these days with COVID and stuff, there's not much happening. So when you have the opportunity to like have some fun and put on a costume, why not? Oh, I'm sorry, not a costume. Cause Tiffany had just said, no, this is a gown, okay? It's called an evening gown, darling. This is not, no one's paying me for this. I paid for it. It's custom. Thank you. But like I said, before I do anything, I need to straighten up a little bit. Y'all, I'm that type of person, like, I can't leave the house if it's a mess because I know I gotta come back to it and it's just gonna be way worse. So I'm going to straighten up just a little bit so that way when it's time to actually get dressed, it'll be less messy and, you know, I could just get ready and go. 419, hope I'm done by cleaning up in like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna take a quick little 30 minute nap. Play this record as frequently as possible. <laughs>
galaxy and gold be a It's giving skin. Yay! Get that on camera. It's giving what last week? Get that on camera. <laughs> it's giving skin. Good morning, guys. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yes, I'm still in bed. It's really, really early, though. My body just doesn't know to sleep when it's the weekend it's like 7 a.m or something the reunion was everything y'all i ended up getting to the event around 8 15 ish yes way later than i anticipated but i still arrived she arrived it was so nice to see so many people i went to high school with so shout out to them shout out to the committee who planned the event and put it together because they did their freaking thing y'all and everyone looks so beautiful they just it was everything i went there alone i pretty much just walked around and said hello to everyone <laughs> i wasn't like you know just chilling in a cut in one particular area i just walked around and pretty much spoke to everyone it's so hard going to events alone because or not even alone so my boyfriend is my like He's my photographer. You know how everyone has their photographer, that one person who just takes all their pictures, mom? That's my boyfriend for me. So because he wasn't with me, I felt like I didn't get too many good pictures. I did get a couple pictures that I asked like a guy who was working at the venue to take. But y'all, he messed up. He didn't even follow the first rule when it comes to taking pictures. What do you do first, y'all? First things first clean your camera lens and he did not do that so when i looked at the picture i was like wait these are all blurry and they were so freaking good all the pictures that he took were so good they were just so blurry and i couldn't clean my camera because the dress i had the material is tool so just no way it's going to clean it so i was like um can you retake these pictures but wipe off the lens he was like okay and i just knew like i was like he thinks i'm doing too much but like seriously like what i already had the grand idea though i was like after the event i want my boyfriend to take my pictures so that's what we ended up doing <laughs> the event was over at like 10 i left around like 9 45 i wanted to leave a little early just because one so when i got there i didn't even know how long i was going to stay because i wanted to gauge you know how comfortable comfortable I was there and I'm saying comfortable because I have extreme anxiety I'm an, an extreme introvert so like going to a place that you know one I don't really know too many people from high school I was never that girl in high school that popular girl with all the friends I sort of like stayed to myself um it was just pretty much cool with everyone like I just spoke to everyone I never had like a click or anything like that so my anxiety was on like 10 a little bit, but I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna go and say hi to everyone. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know where I was going with that. My mind, bloop. <laughs> but yeah, so I told my boyfriend, I was like, well, likely you're gonna have to take my pictures. And I already knew where I wanted to take them. After I left the event, we drove to the park, but as we were driving around, we came I saw I spotted this church and it was like perfect so I was like okay let's take pictures here so we ended up taking pictures outside of the church I was a little scared though because it was literally like it was right in front of a church and like you could see inside of it and low-key it looked a little creepy you could see like the gargoyles and stuff like that inside of there but I was just like all right let's just do it <laughs> so this was a long ramble and probably a long vlog but I'm gonna end here today thank you guys so much for watching if you've gotten this far i'm going to insert some clips and videos of last night i didn't get a chance to vlog because one i did not have a purse to cam to carry this camera and i didn't want this camera in all my pictures y'all because i was not letting nobody hold my camera and i was not sitting it down anywhere thank you so much if you've gotten this far in the vlog i really really appreciate you and i will see y'all later